Hello and welcome to The Grievolution. I'm Joe McRogers, a grief therapist. If you are watching this video, it is likely that you are navigating the complexities of your grief. You might even feel like your world is full stop and the idea of setting goals, that's going to be overwhelming or maybe even feels pointless. But I want to tell you that gentle goal setting can actually be a crucial tool when you're grieving. So please know that goal setting can be a small, compassionate way to reconnect with yourself and invite in balance amongst the chaos of your grief. Today we'll review some of the reasons why goal setting is an important tool for grievers. When we're grieving, everything changes. Our priorities shift, our energy is drained, and grieving makes it feel impossible to think about moving into the future. Traditional goal setting is going to feel too rigid, too demanding, impossible. But here's the thing. Grieving takes energy and gentle goal setting meets you where you are in the moment. It can respect your capacity all the while helping you to regain a sense of control and direction. Gentle goals can help you find some sense of movement forward when you are in the thick of grief. Now, what do gentle goals look like? These aren't your typical goals. They're small, they're flexible, and they are rooted in self-compassion. A gentle goal might look like drinking a glass of water, taking a short walk, or simply pausing for a moment of deep breath, or moving from the bed to the couch. These steps may seem small, but over time, they begin to build belief and trust and remind you that healing and change is possible while you are grieving. Gentle goals offer powerful benefits. They help build a sense of direction, they boost our confidence, and they can create moments of glimpses of hope. They also allow us to celebrate small gains, which can be incredibly grounding when everything else feels so upside down and uncertain. Gentle goals offer us a reminder of a healthy sense of power, control, and influence, which grief robs us of. They also help us build a framework for setting larger goals later on. Often in my therapy practice, grievers are unable to recognize any of the gains that they have made in their grief work. But through our therapeutic relationship, I'm able to offer evidence back to them of the movement that they have made in their grief work. Those people who journal are able to reflect upon their gains through reading their past writings, but journaling is not for everyone. And while we can't make grieving linear, we can use tracking our small steps and gentle goals for evidence that we are doing hard things. So to help you get started, I've created a free gentle goal setting worksheet. This simple tool will guide you in setting small, meaningful goals that align with your current needs. I created this worksheet as the takeaway for my goal setting while grieving workshop, but I want to make the worksheet available to all grievers. So please tell me where to send it to you using the link below in the description of the video and in the comments. Setting goals is one of the monthly tasks in my online communities. I believe so strongly in the power of setting gentle goals that I've created a workshop specifically for this in the rotation of my many workshops. This workshop is a safe, supportive space to honor your grief and to help you take those small, purposeful steps forward. So if this $30 workshop interests you, check out my website for upcoming workshop dates. So whether you're downloading the free worksheet or if you're joining into the workshop or becoming part of our communities, know that you are taking a step forward in tending to your grief while caring for yourself in the process. Requesting the worksheet is in itself a goal of doing your grief work differently. So please, if you found this video helpful, know that I have dozens more videos on my channel, Grief Support That Works. Grief needs a revolution. 
welcome to the grief elixir. And as you work to change your relationship with your grief, I send you kind thoughts, kind words, and a kind heart. Thank you and take good care. Thank you.